In this video, you will learn how easy it is to send email using the SMTP mail class in the .NET Framework Base class library. To demonstrate this, I am creating a new Windows application and putting together a Windows form that I'm going to use to compose and send a simple email message. While I'm arranging the controls on my form, let me just explain that I've already configured the SMTP service on my local machine so that it will relay mail coming from the user1 domain. Now I'll set my from to and subject labels. And now I'm going to set my txt from txt2 and txt subject fields. You'll see that I have specified the default value of user1 at user1 for the from field. Like I said, I've already configured the SMTP service so that it will relay mail coming from user1. And now I need a larger text box that I can use to compose my email message in. I'll call it TXT body. Set it to multi-line. I want it to start out blank. And then I'll just expand it so I've got lots of room to compose in. And now all I need is a send button. Before I add any code behind the send button, I need to set a reference to the system.webassembly. The system.web.mail namespace is where the SMTP mail class is defined. So now I'll double click on the send button. This brings me to its click event handler. The first thing I need to do is specify the SMTP server that I want to use. In this case, I'm using user1, which is my local machine. If I didn't set that property, I would get the local machine by default. Next, I create a new mail message object and then just set the properties of that mail message object. The from field, the to field, the subject field, the body field. I'm just taking all of this information right off of my form from the text boxes. Now I'm also going to specify the format for my email message. I want it to go as plain text rather than HTML. Now all I have to do is call smtpmail.send, give it that message object, and my message will go out. I'm also going to add in a message box and a call to me.close to finish off the app. So I specify my SMTP server, create a mail message, set its properties, and call send. That's all there is to it. To test this, I'm going to send an email message to vb underscore net underscore 101 at hotmail.com. If you look down in the right hand corner, I have Messenger running. I'm logged into the passport for that Hotmail account. I'll compose my email, click send, close my confirmation dialog, and almost immediately Messenger informs me that the email message has been received at the Hotmail account. If I open up Hotmail, you can see that I've received new email from user1 at user1, and all of the fields are just as I specified in my mail message object.